Craig Newmark, customer service rep, founder Craigslist. Craigslist is basically a family of simple websites that help people deal with everyday needs, like getting a place to live or a job, something like that. Right outside here I got bird feeders, I get hummingbirds, all sorts of jays, once in a long while a red-tailed hawk. Um, it's actually, uh, from my point of view, pretty exciting. I love nature if it comes and makes itself convenient for me. This is a, uh, a Nikon P80. It's a point and click, fairly high end one with a good zoom. I use that to photograph the birds and other parts of Newmark's Wild Kingdom. On a trip, I tend to take this uh, Lumix camera, which is uh, bulkier than some of those real slim point and clicks, but it is a 10 times zoom and frequently you do want a zoom capability. This internet radio I've had for maybe six months. You can set them up just by the interface that they present there. And they usually work either through ethernet or wireless. Uh, wireless uh, ethernet I just find a little more reliable and secure. I listen even to local stations streamed because of reception problems with the hills here. But I also listen uh, to public radio in other cities. Like here it's KQED or KALW. On the East Coast it's uh, WAMU, Washington, WNYC, New York. If I'm in LA or just curious, I'll listen to KCRW. I love books, but I uh, think we need to get away from paper. Since I read a great deal, I have a, a Kindle 2 here. Between Kindles 1 and 2, I've read nearly uh, 60 books over the last, uh, I guess it's a little more than a year. I uh, don't read a newspaper on Kindle. I'm old enough to prefer a newspaper on paper. Again, not as old as Andrew Eisner. <laughs> Certainly don't look that old. Here's a ThinkPad. It's an X340, which is fairly light and very slim. A few pounds, um, about an inch thick high-res uh, screen, and that works for me because when I'm doing customer service, I have a lot on a screen, and I need that uh, real estate. So it works pretty well for me, and I've been using that as my main machine, but I'll switch in and out the ThinkPad and the uh, Samsung. I am very fond of the uh, track points on, uh, on ThinkPads. Back there, <laughs> the Samsung uh, NC10 netbook which does a pretty good job for me. It's something I can just grab and carry in my bag, and that works for me. Just because of my travel schedule, since I'll be traveling soon, I'm using that as my main machine to do social networking, and for that matter, to do uh, customer service work. I've ordered an MSI X340. I'll check it out and see if it uh, is gonna replace the netbooks and notebooks I'm using now. The idea is it has a good keyboard, good screen, good touchpad, reasonably fast. Uh, iPhone, like uh, so many folks, um, genuinely innovative, but they use AT&T. I do reset the iPhone uh, more frequently than I thought I'd have to. I am experimenting with a Nokia phone, pretty good, and with a Google uh, Android phone. This is the G1, which is the only one commercially yeah, shipping. Yeah. I do use, for example, the public radio listening application. I use iBird to help identify birds. And most importantly for presentations, I use uh, something called uh, drum set and trombone for, for valuable accentuating uh, effects like... And... And I'm serious, uh, they actually make presentations go much more effectively. Journalism has changed in the last 10 years in that, uh, well, right now the problem is how do you pay for quality investigative journalism? How do you pay for fact checking? How do you convince people to uh, keep uh, what they call church and state separate in the sense that you want to separate uh, editorial and reporting from uh, advertising and finance and funding. That's become a pretty big challenge. In any big organization, you need a way for people to send a message now and then to the top saying, hey, here's what's really going on. Most recently, I just finished something called Wiki Government, which is about the use of technology to provide better public service. And the uh, person behind that is Beth Novak, who's now the deputy CTO for Open Government. 
The PIM is for the Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. They're the people who've done a lot for veterans, like the GI Bill, the end of stop loss, better funding for the VA, and uh, I really believe in what they're doing, and I've joined their board. My blog seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, I get probably about 500 page views a day directly. As to syndication, I don't have a clue. I also blog at Huffington Post, sometimes on the Hill, sometimes on the San Francisco Chronicles uh, oh, blogging site. And I do a fair amount of Twittering. I'm using Facebook and LinkedIn. The idea is that there are a lot of people out there doing a lot of good work that don't get any attention and I try to bear witness for them.